scarcely be anybody from five to 105. Even someone as young as Gary Wilmot, who hasn't seen this suave and sinister actor in one of nearly 200 film roles. He's best known, of course, as the chief ghoul in the Hammer House of Horror. He's revived Frankenstein's monster and driven the stake into Dracula's heart more times than you and I have had hot breakfasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Cushing. You can't believe it when you're 95 to hear that sort of reaction. Good Come job. Back, good job you weren't talking to Gary Wilmot. That's he would have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look terrific. Now you Prince of Horror. But in fact, we have evidence that you started your career in drag. Oh, my heavens. Uh, have yeah, a, have a look at this. Oh, dear. Look, it is there you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are in a frock. Yes, mother's little girl. <laughs> yeah, uh, she, she had my brother three years before me wanted one of each, and I was it. <laughs> <laughs> she let the old hair grow and made you wear a dress. Yes, I had pink <laughs> ribbons. And... Uh, I was lost, and Father rang up the police station and said, have you found a little boy that's lost? And the police sergeant said, no, but I found a little girl. So Father said, um, would you make sure it's a little girl? <laughs> <laughs> he did, and um, it's me and I'm here. No, thank you. <laughs> Do you think it, it, Where did it, you get <clears throat> that? Oh, we, we dig him up from everywhere, Peter. I've noticed yeah. that. Yes, oh, yes. <laughs> Guests included, guests included. Yes, yes. <laughs> we had to go out at midnight to dig you up, hadn't we? <laughs> Over Christopher Lee's body. Exactly. <laughs> old Christopher. He eschews the old horror now. He says, I don't... Oh, he says, I didn't actually make that many horror films, you know. <laughs> but you're, you're, quite ple you're quite pleased with the Oh, right? delighted, yes. Got my fangs at him. Or, no, 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 I think the trouble with dear old Chris, you see, as he said... In the end, playing Dracula, he was just left sort of snarling in corners, showing his teeth, whereas the part I played of Van Helsing was at least leaping about the place, with, trying to think of different ways to bump him off. So, <laughs> <laughs> it did yeah. give a little variety. It yeah, always ended with the stake to oh, the heart. Yes, oh, yes, always, yes. Right yeah, everywhere. The, uh, yes, uh, uh, a rare stake, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, never, you never got bored with all those mad professors and, and, and Frankers. You did. No, 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 no I loved them. I, no, I tell you the, the, the great uh, pleasure I think any, any actor gets, and I, I do mean like, the reception like that is most touching at any time of your life. But an actor's uh, uh, raison d'être, I say, French. Raison d'être. I think it means the reason why. We'll spell that for you later. Yes, <laughs> and for me too. Um, is to entertain people, and those films certainly have done Indeed. that, and still do today. Because, you know, some of them... Am I talking too much? No, at all. This, you're the very kind of person that I want to have on this show. Oh, no. <laughs> Far too often I get people who don't talk at all. <laughs> no, 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 no Well, um, um, some of them, it took nearly all of them, 25 years ago, and an audience today are seeing them who weren't born then, you see. And they see they thought they were made last week or last month or something, and they see this rather elderly gentleman. Is that right? Um, thank yes. you. Well, he's not, uh, he's not wearing the frock and the ringlets tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Creeping about, and uh, <laughs> in fact, I heard someone say, yeah, see that bloke over there? It's Peter Cushing. She said, don't be daft, it's his dad. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I said, you're quite wrong. I'm my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were late going into those roles, though. You, you were about 40 before you started. I was indeed. Uh, yes. Um, I had... think it was a late starter in most things. Oh, I've gone all Irish. It Didn't that sound very Irish? No, it was very good, though. No, Some I... people spend their lives <laughs> trying to do an Irish accent as well as that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you were late starter. I, wasn't there a story that, that when you were 19, you walked... You eschewed the long trousers as well. Oh, yes. I couldn't bear... I like uh, uh, hairy legs. Yes. Um, but I can't pull my trousers up. So They're so right. narrow. I had this made 30 years ago. It's just coming into fashion. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pull them up to show you. But I used to love the air to get around everything, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be asked again. Um, <laughs> um, um, so, I, no, I was, I was 12... It was 12 stone 6... 
And I think, yes, they're 12 stone 6 pounds. Yeah. And I was 6 feet high. And I lost, wore short trousers. And that was the only thing I scored any dignity for in leaving at school at the age of 19. In short trousers. Yeah. You must yeah. have got a pretty picture all this time. Pretty funny, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, oh, pretty. But you should have seen the rug of shorts they were down to here. <laughs> Now, we used to see you a lot on, the, on those great Morecambe and Wise shows. Oh, you appeared on about yeah. five or six of them. Did yes. they ever, do you remember, you used to keep coming back looking for payment? Did yes. They, did they ever actually pay? Well, it was very sweet because they were adorable to work yes. with. They really were magnificent. And um, the, Theo Byrne uh, only had his first heart attack. And soon after that, someone asked him, did you ever pay? Peter Cushing, and he said, yes, and look what happened to me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was wonderful. Yeah. Yes, I did eventually get it, yes, oh, that's and good. every other time, too. You, uh, but actually, in the 50s, you were a household name on television because you were on more than I was, weren't you? you were Impossible. Appearing, appearing on, <laughs> on household dramas. Uh, uh, yes, well, it was only one chas channel, you see, and I was, uh, uh, the, uh, it was all live, laughingly called live. You used to do it live on Sunday, repeat it live on the Thursday. The same it's different. I could ch chat to you all night long and all week long. Could you stand a bit more? <laughs> I can always come back. <laughs> and so you shall. <laughs> if you're not very careful, we'll drag you back. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Doing a performance, that was really terrifying. Oh, that you must know. have been. Mm, really that that and then the therapy. repeat was live as well. Yeah, yes, no, that was the worst thing, well, because you had those three days. Yeah. If people had liked it, you've got to try and live up to what you had done before, which is almost practically impossible. Yeah. And if people hadn't been so keen, you had <gasps> that to face yes. for three hours. It's, oh, terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you're about to start filming a new Sherlock Holmes series on TV. If there's time. anything left of me, yes. A very old Sherlock Holmes. Ah, did you? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, I don't know whether that's, that's derision or sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> you can never tell with this crowd. Yeah. Do you remember, do you remember, cast, if you will, your mind back, not that far, do you remember playing Holmes in 1969? With Nigel, with uh, um, Andre Morel or Nigel yeah. Stock? Let's have a look. But he died of terror while fleeing from something which came in from the moors and pursued him. Well, no, surely that is a matter of conjecture. Perhaps. Were there traces of any other person apart from Sir Charles? There were prints some distance away from the body. A footprint? Yes. A man's or a woman's? Mr. Holmes, they were the footprints of a gigantic hound. The old pipe and the, and the magnifying glass seem to come naturally to you, though, don't they? Yeah. Well, I think when you, uh, a character is so well written, such as Conan Doyle did, you've got such a lot to choose from to, to build your character uh, upon. Actually, that Meerschaum um, was invented really well. In, am I honest? Not, I know you'll just slap me down when you find out. I will, of course. But, uh, uh, a, <laughs> as if I dared. Um, <laughs> An American an actor called uh, 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 Juliet, who did the stage play, and he found to hold a pipe and talk like this was terribly tiring. So he had this a one to bend. rest on his thing, and that's how it came about. Because in all the drawings, the famous drawings by Sidney Paget, which are the, the drawings for Sherlock Holmes, there's Tenniel is for Alice in mm. Wonderland. He's always got a little short black, uh, uh, oily clay pipe. That's Doesn't his look as good as the old no. mirror. But, well, uh, for many people, of course, Peter Cushing is the definitive Sherlock Holmes. For many people, of course, Peter Cushing is the definitive Sherlock Holmes. High-domed, spare, ascetic. Yeah. But there's another Sherlock on the scene, a young Sherlock from Steven Spielberg's new movie. And here he is meeting young Watson. You're the new boy. Yes, I transferred from another school. My name's... Wait. Let me... Your name is James Watson. You're from the north of England. Your father is a doctor. You spend a considerable amount of leisure time writing, and you have a particular fondness for custard tarts. Am I correct? My name isn't James, it's John. Oh, James, John, what's the difference? A great deal. Very well. So your name is John. How did I do on the others? You were correct. On every count. 
has it done? Is it some sort of magic trick? <laughs> no magic, Watson. Pure and simple deduction. There you are. Hold well on, my mirrors. What a smart Alex. Young Sherlock Holmes, and we welcome young Sherlock Holmes. Nicholas Rowe. Lady's whistling at you there. <laughs> How do you feel playing Peter Cushing as a young man? Oh, very honoured. I should resent that, dear boy. You're on your own. Oh, that's I was very never kind. as young as you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there you were. Very, very honoured. Yeah. And are you born in Edinburgh? Did you have to cultivate the the Holmesian accent? The... Uh, not really, but I did speak a wee bit like this when I was a wee boy. You can. Hi. And then I grew up a wee bit, and then I came down south and I lost the accent. Yes. It's bad the effect that London has on you. Oh, I don't know. I'll get you some good film parts. Oh, well, sometimes. You know, I've never seen Holmes played as a Scot. Oh, right. Yeah. So you, you were totally unknown at the time, weren't you, really? Why, yes. why, or why my and mom, how? My mum and my dad knew me. Did they? they knew but only vaguely. Vaguely. Because <laughs> mm. you were in Eton and they didn't see an awful lot of you. No, that's true. Yeah. Shut Steady shut up. Why, why did they, why do you think they chose you, or how did they choose you? Um, well, I think it's a, it's a, I hate that question. Um, I think it's because of Let my... Let me put it another way. No, my, I, <laughs> no I mean, I think I, I, it might have been my nose, actually. My friends have a joke about my nose. Um, and they say that it was quite long and uh, quite big. And, and it was the sort of nose that would get me the part of Sherlock. And they all said, oh, you have to get it because uh, you have the right nose. So uh, I think that's probably the only reason, actually. Yeah. Do you think that was one of the reasons why you got the part, because of the old hooter, Peter? I wasn't implying that. No, yeah, oh, <laughs> you don't. Sorry, I don't. You don't fool me. Yeah. I, I don't really know. I think this... Profile. The, the, the aquiline features they've oh, all had. Uh, oh, that no, that old right. had it. And aquiline features. Yeah. Have, aquiline have features. you been treated like a star? Uh, did Spielberg throw out the boat for you? Um, actually, it's been very nice. We have travelled. We've, been, we've, uh, we've done a lot of traveling around. I've seen Japan and Scandinavia and Australia and places like that. Um, but I, I spend a lot of time talking about myself, which is not so interesting for me. Really? Um, Most people love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to get a chance to come on this show and talk to myself. Oh, no, myself. This, this show, no. It's like, it's like sitting there talking about yourself the whole time. I know this is a short time. This is a very great... Brief, time. yes. Yes, well, you've had but a brief life. Yes. When, when you had a long life, you'd come on and talk forever, yeah. <laughs> did, did you have a kind of glamorous time at Sherlock Holmes? Did you tour Japan and do all that? Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, uh, the films that I did were for Hammer during a, a, a series, and they were doing them in about six or seven or eight weeks. And with the BBC, um, they don't quite go as far as Tokyo. <laughs> At least they didn't in London. <laughs> but, uh, no, go as far as Bradford. <laughs> I mean, is there, a, is there a love, I understand, a love interest in young Sherlock? Yes, there is. It's very platonic. It's uh, very pure love, but it's um, very sweet. This is kind of blasphemy, isn't it, Peter? A love interest in... in well, I... Uh, see, he's, he's supposed to be a... Uh, what's the word? You don't, you don't care for women. A uh, misogynist. Well done. I but think I, I, I get that you make the misanthropist. Oh, yes. ah, right. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but he's always had this enormous politeness with uh, women. But uh, as he says in many of the books, that he's so tied up in his work, it took all his energies and all his time, mm. that he, he, he was by no means effeminate. Mm. But he just didn't have time for women. But, you see... Playing a younger one, mm. I think it's a marvellous idea if they brought that uh, into it, because that could, uh, I mean, you're young enough, if I may be oh, so bold, you. boy, so you'd play two or three more and have the love interest, then see why you gave it up. Yes, I can write. And what about, about, what about smoking? Do you smoke the old pipe at all? Uh, How do you look? Did you smoke the pipe in Young Charlotte? <laughs> I must say. Very that. good. Do you think that's good? Yes. Yes. Thank you. We thank you both very much for joining us. Nicholas Rowe, Peter Cushing. Thank you. And so the end is near. And so we face the final curtain, my friend, but only tonight.